Alright, here's a really quick uh, demo of the Abraxa Lexicon, and it does still need work, um, but I'll show you what, what it is right now. So basically you just install the dependencies, and then you restart the runtime to flush, and let, let the dependencies kick in, and then uh, you can choose choose your languages here um, the code is pretty complex uh, I probably could make this more elegant um, <clears throat> but this is what it does um, and so that's the code real quick and then you can choose how many results you want and what languages you want to search. Say that I just want to search uh, these languages, and then you provided a word, and then it uses the Milvis vector database to f to f do a to a it does a nearest neighbor search. Um, let's just do a simple word like steak. Or, I don't know, pizza. Let's see what comes back for pizza. And so you hit that, comes back, and then it starts bringing back words in different languages. Here's pizza, pizza. Uh, so these are the different words that come back for the homophone search in the languages that I just chose. So, Bitsa in Basque, uh, Pizza in uh, Basque means pot. Uh, pizza in Basque means pizza. Um, and then here's like an Amoraic word uh, beats beatsa might be beatsha uh, means only Amerit Americ is uh, is Ethiopian Japanese pizzu means beep so it's just finding words that are similar it's doing a similarity search uh, on a huge database that took a lot of work actually to, to build um, but let's just do another word real quick like uh, simple. See what comes back for simple. And what it's doing is it's embedding that word. It's finding the international phonetic alphabet uh, pronunciation of that word and then uh, embedding that to fit the embedding of the of the embedding key that I made. Um, and so then it brings back all these these uh, kind of hom homophones like symbol okay that's kind of close to simple um, sample a lot of these are in English I, I wanted it I wanted to do uh, all these different languages so you can search as many languages as you want um, Korean let's just do one uh, and if you want Hebrew you're gonna have to take the vowels out of the word that you're searching and just try to try to do it that way Um, let's try that actually. Uh, like, like, uh, let's see if Yahweh comes back. Uh, in Hebrew, I don't know. With love and love, loving. It's close to Yahweh. 
Uh, Yahweh didn't come back. They did it. But you did get Hebrew words that were close. Um, let's try. Uh, super. Super, supper, in French, super, I guess, is supper. Uh, Icelandic, super, super means sweeps, uh, I guess. So I definitely need to smooth this program out. Um, but as you can see, it works for the most part, especially for simpler words. I will admit that it's not perfect for big words. Like, let's try a big word like uh, establishment. Let's see what comes back. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work because I've just had problems. But establishment does come back in English. That's cool. I guess it does work for that. This some words, I guess. Um. But just the way that the way that it's set up, it it comes back with a couple of good words. But uh, Well, it's it's not perfect, but this is what I've been working on to build a linguistics database to find homophones. I want to make it so it finds anagrams as well, um, but I'm not going to be able to do that with the vector database because it's just not really designed to do that. Uh, cognates is going to have to be uh, an afterthought to bring back all the results and then also compare the translations to see it. But I think that would be really interesting if I could build that out. I'm kind of, I've been kind of working on this for about a month now to build it this far. I've, I've gone through many versions and this is where it's at now and it could be better. Let's try better. So here's all the words for, that are close to batter, better, batter, botter. Um, and it's not perfect. But as you can see, it is what it is. This took a lot of work. Um, and I'm using uh, Milvis, which is like a vector memory database um, that's used in AI a lot. I don't need to. I don't need to get into that. But um, the complexity is already. I mean, I took I took all these word lists and I formatted them into JSON files. And um, so I have all these JSON files that basically have the embeddings of the words uh, for the for the database, and that's how it works is by searching these vectors. So definitely, it could be improved. If there was a reason to improve it, uh, I would, but I've spent enough time on it now that I'm pretty good I'm, uh, that's that's good enough for me uh, let's try enough he 
enough. So, that's how it works. So there's a little quick demo of the homophone hunter in the Abrax Electricon, and I'm still working on it. I don't know when I'm going to get back to working on it more. Uh, I would like to do the Cognates, and I would like to, if I could get funding, I would definitely work on this, but um, at this point, it's just, it is what it is. I, I could I already I know of things that I could improve and that is uh, stuff like the like the the translations the translations work pretty good but they could be better another uh, they could be better f especially for uh, Latin character languages um, But yeah, that's. This was a lot of work to to, to figure out all this stuff, um, and and then to transliterate uh, all these languages, especially Korean, was really difficult for some reason to figure out because in Japanese that was that was tough. But did it, and uh, now. Uh, it's complete enough. Let's try complete. Complot. Camblet. Gaelic. Complete. Uh, Camelot. I guess that is kind of close. I mean, <clears throat> like I said, it could be better, but it's uh, it is what it is at this point. So uh, let's try one big word like uh, what's a big word? Precarious. It's not that big. Let's just see what happens. Precarious comes up. Bregarious. Bracarious. Precarious. And Proxerius Proxeros Frixarius Frixorius. Uh, well, let's try. Am I doing the it could be better? I know. And really, if I just had this all in, in one file, I think I could use Fuzzy Wuzzy to do an even better job. Um, and also, I'm thinking maybe the maybe I will do that, but it's going to be like a 20 gigabyte file. But still, it might not be a bad idea to just use Fuzzy Wuzzy rather than Milvis. Milvis was fun to learn. I mean, not really, but... Um, um, let's see, let's see Pegasus. Let's see what comes back for Pegasus. Greek Pegasus, Pegasus. Well, Pegasus comes back 
in a lot of these. Picasso's. Fugasus. Bacchus. So anyways, yeah, this is like a linguistics tool that I wanted to build. I know that I could do a lot more uh, from here, but I I need I need to be sponsored or something because because I'm I'm kind of out of juice, out of money. I need to start working on something that's actually going to pay me. But uh, yeah, that's that's the Abraxa lexicon. I named it the Abraxa lexicon just because sounded cool uh, so yeah that's the demo for that alright check you later